Uh, the Sean Hannity show on Fox News did something which is absolutely despicable, and it basically checks off every single box of the problem with the corporate media today. Sean Hannity decided to have a panel last night. He said, you know what? Let's get a bunch of black Republicans who don't like Obama in the same room, and we're going to kind of set up this whole thing to talk about how bad President Obama is for minorities and black people. Now, as we know, this is completely not representative of the situation in this country where African Americans overwhelmingly support President Obama and uh, the complaints that were kind of elicited from these panelists, this group of, of black American Republicans on the Sean Hannity show do not represent anything when it comes to they, they don't correlate in any way with the polling that we see nationwide. So we're going to focus specifically on one individual. I thought, to be honest, that this was a, some kind of SNL skit parodying conservative media's use of black people ag against progressive values. But it wasn't. This was really the Sean Hannity show. And he brought on uh, an individual named Deneen Borelli. Now, Deneen Borelli is a Fox News contributor. And Sean Hannity had the following conversation with her, and it led to her making the claim that President Obama has a war on black Americans. And again, this is so misleading because if you're a casual observer, casual consumer of corporate media, you flip around and you say, oh, interesting, Fox News, eh, but just just one other news channel. I don't know anything about what Fox News means, has this room of black conservatives and some of them are angry with Obama. They think Obama is actually uh, has a war on black Americans. Seems legitimate. Let's take a listen. You wrote a book, Blacklash. Yes. In that book, you start out and you say, Google my name. Uh, I know you well. I Googled your name. I don't like what I see. Right. Tell people what they'd say if they do that. Well, listen, you, you're going to see things that I can't even say on your program, but token, traitor, sellout, Aunt Jemima, Uncle Tom. But these are individuals hiding them behind their computers instead of debating me on my values and my principles. But I tell you, uh, I wrote Black Lash because I want to expose the failures of the black liberal establishment. And at right. the top of the list is President Obama. In my opinion, he has a war against black Americans because look at the unemployment rate. Look at the failed uh, high school dropout rates. He is not doing uh, what he should should be doing to implement proposals where people should be employed. His energy policy is failing our country. And so it's just first of all, one of the red flags when you see a video like this is when you see just this kind of frenetic, apoplectic recitation of unrelated issues and talking points. She's talking about President Obama has a war on black Americans. The liberal establishment has failed black people. We're all of a sudden at Obama's energy policy is bad. We're, we have zero, zero substance, just talking points. So that's red flag number one when you're consuming corporate media like this. But let's take it a step further here. First of all, it's amazing that Ms. Borelli here gripes that there are individuals who are behind their computers instead of debating her on her values and principles. And she chooses to make this attack on President Obama on Sean Hannity's debate free show. Where no, where, yeah, where no one's going to confront her on the issue. Absolutely. Yeah. So that, that's that's the, the funny thing there. But there's some there's some controversy here. There's some uh, contradiction, rather. I thought President Obama hated America and wanted to destroy the country, meaning all of us, black, white, Asian, Hispanic. I mean, Glenn Beck said that President Obama hates white culture. This contradictor, this this conspiracy theory contradicts the other conspiracy theories about who does President Obama want to destroy? Is it just black people? Is it white people? Is it people who aren't religious? I can't even keep it straight, Lewis. Who knows? Everyone's got a different opinion of, of how our president is trying to destroy this country. Yeah. So, again, to, to, to sum up here, we have we're checking all the boxes. We have the false balance, false controversy thing, which is, wow, a room full of black Republicans who don't like Obama. There must really be a big debate nationally amongst African-Americans about whether they support or don't support President Obama. No, not doesn't exist. That's falsely portrayed. It's the false balance issue with corporate media. And then also, Natan, this is a way really of unempowering, I feel, minorities, even though Sean Hannity is presenting it as, hey, you know what? We're not going to let the liberals 
use black people and assume they're all on their side by pointing out that these 14 people aren't. But really, I feel like it's actually by by misrepresenting the reality, it's more damaging than anything else. Yeah. And uh, this kind of reminds me of when John McCain, a few months after Obama took office in 2009, he complained uh, on one of the Sunday talk shows, I think, that uh, he was expecting change and we didn't get it. Well, I mean, he ran against that change. So on the one hand, there's a question here as to whether a president can, e can even do the miraculous things that this woman is asking for. Right. Uh, on, this, on another level, I mean, isn't Fox News and isn't she as a conservative advocating for the policies that would actually be way worse than yeah. the ones that Obama is actually implementing. So yeah. I don't really get what she expects Obama to do that what she supports wouldn't do worse.